finally getting commitment. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. So the church is in that form of prostitution because we want pleasure in the church. See, we don't come to church for the real purpose that we're supposed to come because now, the now day church, the end time church, the new modern church, Lord Jesus, help me with that word. The new modern church wants the feel good. Oh, service is powerful. That, that felt so good. Oh, honey, I cried, I wept. They covered me up with a sheet. But you keep getting up with no power. God, help me to teach it here tonight. Help me to teach it here tonight. Because our concentration has been on the goosebumps. And the quickening. And the shalamalalamalalamalalabaha. But no power, Lord Jesus. No power for restraint. No power for self-control. I'm preaching tonight. I'm preaching tonight. I'm preaching tonight. But then we cry covenant with God. We say, oh, well, God that gave us the new covenant. And we're under a new covenant. But there are three things that must take place when you come into true covenant with God. Number one, there must be a sacrifice. Okay, I'm just going to say that one more time because, because this is the part we depend on. Oh, Jesus did it. He died on the cross and he, God sacrificed his only begotten son. No, no, no. A covenant, people of God, is a mutual legal agreement between two parties. There cannot be a covenant with one person. Now, yo, no, 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 watch this, watch this, watch this. So if it is a legal agreement between two parties, then each party must say what they are willing to render to the relationship. Here we go now, here we go. This is where, this is where we make room for all those people that's out there in that vestibule that can't get in. Because this is where we're going to lose a lot of y'all right here. Because a sacrifice has to be made. Now, Jesus came and he died on the cross as a sacrifice. And the reason being is because in the sacrifice, there must be two things present. There must be blood and there must be a body. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So if Jesus came and shed his blood, then that's his part of the sacrifice. But then the Bible goes on to say that as for us, that we are to present uh, our body a living sacrifice. Come on here. Come on here. Come on here. A living sacrifice. Not fumbling and bumbling and don't know which way you going in God. Holy. Oh God. I'm whole oh God. Holy. Holy, holy and acceptable. Which is your reasonable service? So then, so then watch this. Then God says, Lord have mercy, in the covenant, God says this. Okay, you know what? I'm going to send my only begotten son. And according to the book of Matthews, the Bible said God anointed Jesus that he would come and heal and set free from all manner, pastor, all manner of sickness and disease. So here we are saying, God, heal me. God, save Junior. God, deliver my house. God, uh, God give me peace of mind. And so God, God then turns around and look and see who's talking. Because, because then he says, that's a real tall order. So, 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 so the person that is asking me to do this has got to be a person that's going to lay the sacrifice down because I know ain't no jack leg hypocrite and lying, fornicating. Come on, somebody. Nobody is asking me to do all that. And I can't find where your body has been presented as a living sacrifice. So now we're wasting time in prayer. You know, 
hear that? Did you just get that? You're wasting time. God do it, God, oh God, oh God. In the name of, you know what I prayed and I, I said, I did it right, I said, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Yeah, you just forgot an ingredient, you. Come on. You forgot to qualify yourself for that kind of prayer. I'm not hearing nobody say nothing. I'm not hearing nobody say nothing. Because see, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you what 2003 is going to be about. It's going to be about purifying the sons of Levi. Oh, y'all are hearing me. See, don't get confused because the church sizes have become massive. Because everybody is coming after God. But God's got a remnant that is sitting inside of the church. You don't hear what I'm saying. You don't hear what I'm saying. See, everybody in here, everybody in here ain't after God. Come on, I'm just, I'm, no, you're not going to let me preach this thing tonight. Oh, some, some of you, a lot of y'all in here, a lot of y'all in here ain't after God. No, no, y'all, some of y'all in here want to eat a bite of my tongue. Oh, I got to get in to see her. Oh, I got to go. Oh, I was this close. You crazy. Because you know what? <laughs> Why should I be after one eat a bite? When God's got the power to give me something she cannot. Y'all gonna make me preach too hard too soon. Y'all gonna make me preach too hard too soon. Cause the Bible said that power belongs to God. Come on here somebody, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Now see right there, right there. I know there's a struggle in the spirit because some of y'all gotta repent and get your spirit right. Hey, come on somebody. That's why the church world can't get a move of God because everybody got a faith. In. But if God can just get somebody stuck on Jesus, if God can just get somebody that says, I don't care what happens, I just want a word from God. I don't care who bring it. I'm going to tell you, if you sit next to somebody right now and they can't say amen, they stuck. And the reason why, and the reason why they stuck because, Lord have mercy, God is bringing the revival across the country because he's got to get the church from beyond the foot of the cross because that's where we're stuck at. You don't hear what I'm saying? There's another level to God. You don't hear what I'm saying? There's another power to God. But he can't get us off the altar from repenting. Come on, somebody. When is somebody going to come to a place in God that I can walk victorious over the sins of the world and I walk with power and I don't just visit over here. I live on the victory side. Y'all ain't saying that. But the church has got to go to another level. Another level. See, see, see. See, when you say... When you say, when you say another level, then another level is some breaking down. Another level is some giving up. Another level is some purging. Oh, you didn't, don't nobody know what that word means. Another level is purging. Another level is forgetting about your weave and your eye makeup and, and your lipstick. I'm not hearing nobody talk back to me. Another level is God, I don't care what I got to do to get to you. But I, come on somebody. But I got to get acquainted with God. I don't care where I have to go. I just got to get to God. Come on, somebody. I'm tired of spending all of my prayer time praying for my sins. I'm ready to spend some of that prayer time speaking those things would be. Prayer time commanding the atmosphere. I'm ready to spend some of that prayer time controlling my house and controlling my destiny. But he cannot move when I'm around. He's bound up as long as I'm in his presence. I'm, oh my God. God got to help me tonight. God got to help me tonight. God got to help me tonight. See, 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 see he said, he said, he said, he said, except 
Ephesians 2 and 13 that says, but now in Christ Jesus, you who once were so far away, through, by, in, see all them three words together, I'm reading from Amplified Bible, through, by, and in, the blood of Christ have been brought near, are you hearing that? Are you seeing that? Once I have been brought near, I've been brought near because the second ingredient in a covenant is a mediator. Watch this. Jesus Christ became the high priest that we may be inducted into the priesthood. Now let me show you what purpose, what purpose, what is the purpose? What is the purpose? Not to shout and speak in tongues. Lord Jesus. Lord, I love you, God. Lord, I love you. Not, not to roll all over on the floor and, and spit and hair all messed up. And, 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 and come on, somebody. But, but he became the high priest so that we could be inducted into the priesthood. Jesus. So that we can have the ability to do what he does. Okay, I'm not getting nobody to say that. Because what he did was more than the cross. You don't hear me. You don't hear me. Okay, let me just let me just talk about him a little bit. He went to a wedding and turned water into wine. You don't you don't hear me. You don't hear me. He walked to a dead man's grave and spoke after he y'all come on somebody. After he had been there four days and said, "Come out." I don't think you understand what I'm trying to say to you. That, that, that he don't just intend for him to live on the inside by way of the cross. But he expect for us to walk in the priesthood and be able to do what he does and say what he's saying have the same power. Oh God, come on, come on. Not, not, not God will you. Not, not Jesus uh, can you. Not, oh God uh, help me. No. But I to this situation right here and, 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 and <laughs> not Jesus but I command it I command the mountain to be moved I, I speak to cancer right now and I command it to come out in Jesus name. you don't get what I'm saying you don't, you don't, some of y'all some of y'all some, some of y'all just want the power of the church some of y'all want the power of the church I want the power of God See, the reason why some of us cannot believe God because we can't believe God beyond what we've seen in our church. And then that, that right there, that, that right there is going to hurt somebody. You can't believe God because, because you, ain't never, you ain't never seen him. You ain't never seen blinded eyes open. You ain't never seen, come on somebody. You, you, you ain't never seen cancer healed. You ain't never seen nobody walking here with lupus and can't even walk in the church and end up running around the church. Now, I don't mean to make you jealous, but that's what happens in our church. You, 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 you ain't seen nobody who the doctor done gave up on them and they full of cancer. Y'all, come on, somebody. And God begins to drop the cancer. Come on, you, you ain't seen nobody that the doctor said need a knee replacement. And they walk down and get laid hands on and all of a sudden they got a brand new knee. I don't know about you, but I'm sick and tired of church. I got to see the power of God. Let me tell you something, let me tell you something, you better, you better, you ain't, you ain't in here by no accident. Now can, now can I just stop for a minute and prophesy? You in here because God is trying to get your spirit ready. Come on somebody, can I prophesy? Because you about to go through something where you're going to need some power. Sit down here. 
Sudah, 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 sudah. Go to Ephesians right quick. Let me just <laughs> go to Ephesians right quick. Right, 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 right. Okay, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> this right here is just. <laughs> I'm trying to calm down, y'all. But, but he said right here. Now, 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 now I, got, I, got, I, got, I got to raise your level of faith right here. I got to raise your level of faith. Because we always in prayer seeking God for stuff we already got. You don't need God to give you power. say amen right there your weights come on somebody you know the last side of it one ember sin your weights got your power bound up God I just I just just give me your strength you got strength give me your give me your anointing you got an anointing when you came down here then why did you waste our tissues why, why do you have us wiping your nose and throwing clothes on you and didn't let it happen because what was supposed to happen on this altar is when you walked down here and gave up to God Christ was supposed which empowered you then why are you But what you already got. See, because, because, because he says, he says here, he says, be strong in the Lord. Now, did, do, do anybody's Bible say anything different? Because mine say be strong. Mine don't say pray for strength. Can I help somebody? My, mine don't say seek him and he'll give you some strength whenever you see the bible say be that lord i love you then that uh, that means you ain't gotta beg me for it all you gotta do is walk in it come on come on see if i don't take you here tonight then, then nothing else that god tried to do for you this week is gonna count because see, your faith level is going to be too marred by all the rest of the junk. That's why you got to protect your ear gate. And you got to protect your eye gate this week. And you, you got to watch what you put in front of your eyes. Because the Bible said faith cometh by hearing. And hearing by the word of God. You got to watch what you hear. Because the reason why your faith level is not where it's supposed to be. the word of God and so now you're struggling all the time oh my God but I never dare somebody to embrace the word of God and begin to walk in exactly what he says in the way that he said be strong watch this in the Lord now this 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 right here got me not, not just be strong but be empowered through your union with him Okay, then that cancel out, hypocrite. Okay, then we, then we just answered. That's why you are powerless, because you don't have a union with him. No, 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 come on, come on somebody. Come, come on somebody. That's why you're powerless, because you don't have a union. U union, there, there's, no, there's no committed relationship. Who am, I, who am I helping right here? Who am I helping? There is no committed relationship. Okay, 
union. I'm in, I'm in union with somebody. I'm in, I'm in covenant with somebody. I wear a ring because I have a union. Something was added to my name. I get nobody to say nothing. Union. I can use his credit card so he don't have to be there. Union. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I can sign stuff. You don't hear nobody say that. In his name. Because I have, y'all, come on, come on. I, I have a union now. And I'm, maybe that's why you can't get nothing in his name. Because you don't have a union with him. Uh, maybe that's why when you tell the devil, come out in the name of Jesus, the devil laugh at you because you don't have a union with God. You're in the spirit realm illegally. I'm going to say that again. You in there casting out, trying to cast out a devil with no power. You illegal. Your tongues are illegal. Let me, let me just help you. Let me help you. Let me help you. Without purification, your tongues are empty. We're going to have some room tomorrow night for some people. It's going to be, watch, we... We're going to wonder where everybody went. Because, <laughs> oh God, without a clean life, your tongues are powerless. I'm not hearing nobody say nothing in here. Without a right spirit and a clean mind. Come on here, somebody. You're just talking words. Come on, come on, come on. Because if you really had power with God, sometimes you don't even have to say nothing. You can walk in a room and every demon in there start whispering and calming down and getting out of there and don't go. You ain't, gotta, you ain't gotta wear no pin on your chest talking about Jesus say. You ain't gotta wear no stick on the back of your car talking about honk if you love the Lord. Come on somebody. Demons recognize and understand who people with power really is. Y'all don't get what I'm saying. Do you not know that some of us when we wake up in the morning, all the hell said, oh my God, John is woke. Oh Jesus, Andre Jones is woke. Oh, that Pastor Boyd. We thought we was going to give him a stroke and put him out of here. But oh my God, he woke up. Do you know why? Because the enemy knows who can shake the gates of hell. The enemy get results. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And that's why you got to get your life in order. Devil said. One foot in the church. I'm preaching to somebody. Slipping and dipping. I'm not getting nobody to say nothing. I'm not getting nobody to say nothing. Because you know what? This is a sanctified message. And the church don't hear sanctified messages no more. You know the kind of message we hear? Are we working with? That's all right. That's all right. You, you, you. We working it out. Oh, you, well, we're we working with you. We're working now. Well, we're, 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 it's going to be all right. We, it's all right. We know you got a little problem. We know you can't help it. Okay, let me, just, let me just help us with this. Let me just help us with this right here. Anybody here that's got a smoking habit, let me ask you something. Is you smoking now? Do anybody here smell smoke? Then that says to me you can stop when you want to. You don't hear me. You don't hear me. You don't hear me. Is anybody laying down on the seat with somebody having sex right now? That means you got power to stop when you want to stop and for who you want to stop for. Y'all ain't here. That's why he said, be ye holy, because you got the power to do it. It's your choice. Come on here, church. I wish I had a Holy Ghost church tonight. I wish I had somebody that want to be saved tonight for real. Be really say for real. You go to the doctor's office, sign said no smoking. You stand right at the door and put it out. Be three hours waiting on you. And you just be sitting there looking at magazine after magazine. You ain't even phased about it. That's all right. Okay, I, I, okay, I'm getting ready to see the doctor. As soon as God said, no, I'm, 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 
I'm gonna read something that's gonna hurt you. Soon as God said, put it down. Oh, I love you. Help me. I, I didn't wanna. God, I just need you. No, no, let me ask you something. What, what part of that don't you understand? What, what, what part of that don't you get? Now, 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 now I understand, baby saint. And don't get me wrong. I understand, baby saint. Oh, but this revival ain't for baby saints. Saints that, that's going to fall down and boo boo in their pants and, and have little accidents. But I can't understand people that's been saying nothing. Come on here, somebody. You ain't saying amen, but I'm going to make you say amen. Been saved for 15 years, still smoking. Come on, somebody. Is this church? God ain't stuck you. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I'm going to show you something right here. I'm going to show you something right now. Second Corinthians 4. Yeah, Lord, I hear you. Okay. Second verse, he said. Read that. He said, you need to read the second verse first. We have renounced disgraceful ways. I know that's a big word for some of y'all. Renounce means I don't do it. And you know what, you know what, you know what really, 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 really just, just, just gets me? That people are saved in this hour, but they don't have nothing that they don't do no more. Y'all ain't gonna let me teach tonight. They don't have nothing they don't do no more. Ain't nothing about you changed. Now, don't look at me like that because I'm not scared of you. <laughs> Ain't nothing about you changed. You still got the same friends, the same conversation. You don't hear me. You don't hear me. You don't hear me. You don't hear me. Ain't nobody going to say amen? amen? You can't say amen. Just say ouch. I'm not hearing nobody say nothing. You still messy? I'm not hearing nobody say nothing. You still talk about folk? You still holding stuff that folk did for you for years? Come on, somebody. I'm not hearing nobody talk back right there. Well, you don't know what they did to you. God don't hold you accountable for what people do to you. He holds you accountable for how you respond to it. Come on here, somebody. If I would have laid down and cussed everybody out that never done anything to me, I wouldn't be here today. But God put me in that position because he was trying to teach my flesh how to die. Mama was out that day. I don't care who came out to the graveyard. Stand up at your mama's grave tell my, oh, you ain't nothing. You ain't nothing. You wasn't nothing with Give more shit in the hall. Tell me, let you walk in there to some of them dead bodies. You can walk right over that man's body. That's a big old bump on your nose. He ain't gonna flinch. He ain't gonna say nothing. Cause he's dead. You don't hear what I'm saying. You don't hear what I'm saying. So, 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 so God said, God said, I want you to have a funeral for seven days. You don't hear me. You don't hear me. No, no, no. Not, not no. He can't. be killed. Come on somebody. There's some folk that's got to die. Come on somebody. There's some stuff that God got to kill in you that the devil don't get a reaction out of Take. They're still responding to stuff that they're supposed to be dead to. I'm not getting nobody to say amen right there. I'm 
Do it in me. Do it in me. Do something. Come on, God. I wish I had somebody that said, God, do something in me. Cause, cause, see, cause I just want uh, Hey, God, save, save me for real. Save, save me for real. Save me, God, to my flesh. Die to the thing that's not like you. What's this say, sir? Till I, till I don't respond to it because, because, because he said, he said, he said, if I keep telling you, if I this area, if I keep trying to tell you, and, 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 and watch this, watch this, watch this, and you have people that, 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 that are y'all all right? Are y'all all right? I'm going to live through this. Because the Bible said, that in the last days they wouldn't endure sound doctrine. Come on, somebody. The Bible already told us that they would want that little patty cake teaching pastor. They, you know, they want all that. You go, God, you so. All that, all that junk food, all them donuts and cookies. You so blessed, God. God told me, tell you, you got, honey, you got, you girl, you got a little ministry down in your No, 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 no. But, but, but God said, he said, the kind of preaching that I want you to do in this hour, he said, until my people can learn how to shout when somebody said, there's a lion spirit in you, you need to come to the altar and get that out. See, see, oh, y'all, see, that's the time to rejoice. Oh, come on, somebody. Because when God finds your sin out, it's because he loves you and your destiny is not supposed to be hell. How dare you sit up and get mad when God starts trying to purge you and clean your belly out. Somebody begin to shout yes right quick. I see something. right there. I just heard the Holy Ghost said the word is cleansing right now. I just heard the Holy Ghost said the word is cleansing right now. I just heard the Holy Ghost say if you want to be clean for real open up your spirit and begin to give God a real yes that the Holy Ghost is cleansing. Room. I feel the power dropping in there. Receive it. A strong anointed in classroom 303. Come on, receive it, receive it, receive it. See, because the word says, but you're getting another one. What part of giving it up? Don't you understand? You don't speak English? Because 
he says in the third verse, okay, God. Okay. Okay, Jesus. Just want me to hold my finger on the space. said put it down put it down put it down put it. you can't get that you can't get that then you veiled you're dying you spiritually lost okay don't look at me like that now, don't look at me like that because if it's hidden and it's obscured and you can't get it then you must be the lost Lord come on somebody because the Jews came to Jesus in John the 10th chapter and said when are you going to reveal to us whether or not you be the Christ? In other words, tell us whether or not you got the power you say you got. Okay, then let me bring that in layman's terms today. When is God going to deliver me? And when is God going to help me? And when, when is God going to show me how to, how to, you know, just come on and just, you know, I, I, I feel strong when I'm in church. And, and I, I feel strong when I, when I come to prayer. But then, you know, I, it's just so, it's just so hard. But okay, okay, okay. So, so then his answer to the Jews is, I've been trying to tell you. My works speaks for me. They are my credentials. He said, but, okay, no, because y'all don't believe he said that. Because I, mean, I just heard him say, read it to him. Because the first thing I thought, is that, is that really in the Bible? Maybe she just paraphrased it to sound like John 10 and Jesus, 25, and Jesus answered them, I have told you so, yet you do not believe me. You do not trust me. And rely on me. Hello. Pray for my faith. I, I just feel so. Why? You know, prophets, I just been believing God that he would just help me find a place to live. Why? Can you just touch and agree with me? Why? He said, you do not rely on me. Can I just put it in a question form? The reason why you do not rely on me and the reason why you do not trust me, he said, because the very works that I do by the power of my Father and in my Father's name bear witness concerning me. They are my credentials and evidence in the support of me. But you do not believe and trust and rely on me because you do not belong to my Foe, you are not mine. You ain't here. Well, I just feel the power. No, let me tell you what you feel. You feel the residue of the atmosphere of people who do have power. Okay, I'm going to say that one more time. That thing that you feel quickening when you're in church and you know you ain't got no life before God and you know that jerking you feel, that ain't yours, baby. That ain't down in your belly. That's in the atmosphere. That's ricocheting off of somebody that's walking with power. You don't hear me. That's why when you get home, you can't stop doing it. That's why when you get back to your, y'all, come on, somebody. When you get back to your house, you ain't got no power to command nothing to stop. That's why the devil is taking over your house, taking over your job, taking over your finances, and ain't nothing you can do about it because you know what? You can't take that rest. The only people that take it home are the people that brought it. God, I didn't hear nobody say that right there. Why y'all ain't saying amen? I don't. Amen's getting real low now. Amen's getting real low now. 
You know why? Because God tearing down all that false stuff that you think you got. Let me write. My life is all jacked out of shape. And I came to the revival to get my shut and write order with God. God, that I need God to accomplish for me in prayer and I'm sick and tired of being in the way of my own results so I'm finna, I'm finna, I'm finna, I'm finna, I'm finna read this right here and uh, cause he said when I was reading that other scripture he said stop right there The reason why I know, John, that we are not in real covenant relationship because the God that we serve, this is the four things he gave me in prayer. He said, the God, covenant revealing God and a covenant enabling God. Covenant. Watch this. And I read this. In the dictionary, this is Webster. It's like one of the extended dictionaries, and it says, "It is sacrifice." In, in other words, you can't come in there giving God no rules. Well, God, I would just say, but you know, can I just keep, you know, sacrifice is the person that governs the rules. Come on, somebody. And the person that governs the rules have said, I will give you joy, peace, power in the Holy Ghost. I will give you power to cast out devils, lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. I will give your hands the power to get wealth. There shall never be any lack in your house. Come on, somebody. I will give you land that you didn't work for. I'll allow you to sow from places that you've never reaped from, providing <laughs> that you present your body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable. Y'all ain't trying to. And here, and here we are. Here we are trying to get the back end, and we ain't did the front part. We want the power to get. We have not submitted our bodies as a living sacrifice. Come on, y'all. I'm not getting nobody. I'm not. So, so, so. You know what? So, you know what? We come to church, hollering, screaming, jumping, and shouting, and speaking in tongues, and we are covenant breakers. We're not. Even in the true covenant with God. Come on, somebody. I'm not hearing nobody say that. We're not even in right standing with him. We're crying about his presence and we're speaking in tongues under his glory, but we don't even have a union with him. I'm going to give you a half a second to think about you so we can cancel this. So we can stop pretending that we need God to help us with something that he's given us the power to cancel in our own lives. I'm not hearing nobody say Come on, somebody. I'm not hearing nobody say nothing. We only hate the sin that we hate, but we love the sin that we love. Because the sin that we hate, we call it the devil, but the nobody say nothing and it's time out for you to stop having anniversaries on your weaknesses come on somebody every I just get real pitiful and I just get depressed the devil is a lie it's time baby what kind of holy ghost that you got that you want to lay hands on me but you can't even control the devils that's running rapid in your own life find it strange and you know what I'm gonna I'm 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 stop right here I find it strange when we in the service you see people out there I'm gonna go you know what you need to do you need to get in the mirror when the devil stops messing you go cause see some of y'all don't understand why God teaching like this because you are on the brink of a breakthrough in your family and in your life. And God intends for you to not to miss it anymore. Oh, 
Okay, let me just kill the help me spirit so y'all can, so you can think about whether or not you're coming back. It's First Corinthians, the ninth chapter, the 24th verse says, hurry up and get there. Do you not know that in a race all runners prize so run your race okay here we go your race we competing this week you at the starting line. The clock getting ready to go off. You got to get in position. All them lies you be telling. Y'all, y'all, you about to take off now. Come on, guys. Competition, give me. It's your race. It's, it's your race against your own temper. It's your race against all of your inconsistencies. You know, I love it when the amens get low because that means I'm doing something. You know, I don't get real excited when y'all really start hollering. I get real excited when y'all start shutting up. It's your race. It's yours. Don't look at nobody else this week. I know he talking to her. No, he talking to you. You ain't got no place to judge nobody. I'm not hearing nobody say nothing. Because if you was perfect, you'd be in heaven. You wouldn't even be here. He said, you're rich. Oh, lay hold of the prize and make it yours. Now watch this, y'all. Now every athlete who goes into training conducts himself temperately and restricts himself in all things. Do that say help me, Lord? Do that. Evangelist Hubbard, that don't say nowhere about help me, Lord. That says when you realize what you are running toward, when you look at the prayers that are on your list and the stuff that you need God to do, you restrict yourself. You tell yourself, I ain't touching that. I ain't going over there. Nope, I'm not getting involved in that conversation. Come on, that don't say help me, Lord. It says that the athlete restricts himself. Come on, somebody. See, when I first, when I first went back to training, you know, and John John been trying to help me out, and I, and I, I was just in the gym, just going, going, going. And I'm just going, going, going. And John just said, I said, well, I love strawberry donuts from Dunkin' Donuts. Oh my God. It's like I can't help myself. And then I go in there and say, I'm only going to buy one piece. And then I end up eating it. And then I just go and get, I just like big sandwiches and stuff. And he said, What you eating? I said, Well, I'm, 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 I'm eating healthy. He said, I need to eat eating right. He said, I'm telling you right now, you're taking something in your diet because though you're working out, you, you maintain. You ain't losing nothing and you ain't gaining nothing. Come on, I'm talking to somebody right there. Because see, see, a lot of y'all, the stuff that you're taking in your spirit, you ain't gaining nothing. Come on, somebody. You just maintain. Because I cannot say, John John, come and live with me and make sure I don't eat that. No, I got to look at my goal and I got to restrict myself. I gotta pull up the McDonald's and say, I'm not getting no fries because I'm working on something. Come on here, somebody. I don't want no shake. I know a shake tastes good, but I'm working on something. I don't want no somebody. I don't want no ice cream from Baskin and Robbins because I'm working on something. Come on, somebody. I don't want no lust in my life because I'm working on something. I don't want to watch pornography because I'm working on something. I don't want to put nothing in all. In my spirit, because I'm working to see. I gotta restrict myself. I got, I got to, I got to tell myself no. Come on, here, somebody. I gotta speak to my own flesh. That's how some of y'all gonna get free this week. 
Because I'm going to tell you something, you ain't going to be able to come in here and not work on it. Come on, somebody. You're going to have to restrict yourself because your flesh ain't going to want to lay out before God. Your flesh ain't going to want to wait in the presence of God. But when you are after your goal, the Bible says that, watch this, every athlete, watch this, restricts himself. Which means you say, not God say, he gave you the laws to lose the weight, to be reshaped, to transform your body to another image. He gave you a way to do that. Now he says, restrict yourself. But watch this, y'all. He says he restricts himself in some things. No, I just, in, in, in a few things. No, did you hear me? Because see, this week, this week, no TV. Okay, okay. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Because cause though we're going to be here seven days, we can't compete. We can't, pe we, we, we can't compete with the Parkers. Come on, somebody. I'm not getting nobody to talk back to me. You know, we can't, we can't compete with girlfriend and all that stuff. And, 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 and the hospital and, and NYPD blue and, and all that cussing and all that kind of stuff. Because y'all ain't saying that. See, that's why sometimes when you come to church and you start praising God, you can hear all that old cussing down in your spirit. You can hear all that stuff that you done washed, all that junk that's down in your spirit. See, this week you got to restrict yourself. I'm not listening to nothing that can't cause me to grow. I'm not listening to nothing that can't chisel me. I'm not listening to nothing that can't cause my spiritual muscles to flex. I'm not giving me to listen to nothing. I'm not giving me to watch nothing that cannot cause me to speak those things would be not as though they were. I'm not putting nothing before my eyes that's going to hinder where I'm trying to go. Come on, somebody. Because this week I'm on a special diet. This week I'm trying to get somewhere. Come on, somebody. This week I'm running a race. I can't eat everything. Because he, he said, can I finish this? Because I, I, I took out a picture of Marion Jones, the track star. And I said to John John, I said, this is how I want to look, John John. <laughs> he looked at me, he said, well, you're not going to get that way eating donuts. He said, I'll tell you right now, Marion Jones ain't eating a lot of junk when she getting ready to run the Olympics. He said, she got to put all that stuff down. And, and, and the Holy Ghost said, seeking God for seven days, we, we getting ready for the Olympics. Yeah. Come on, you getting ready for the big one. You, watch, watch this. You ain't, God, God ain't got you in here preparing you from, for some little small victory. This is the big one. Come on. This is the one that you've been praying about. You know the one? You, now, maybe it's just me, but is there anybody in here that God has ever promised you that he was going to do something, but, 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 but it wasn't no small thing, it was a major thing? Okay, come on, somebody. Then when you're preparing to, to, to race in the Olympics, come on, you got to restrict yourself a little bit more. Come on, somebody. you got to watch your diet because, because your neighbor don't understand. And that's why you got to watch who you communicate with all week long because they don't understand what God has spoken in your spirit. They don't know what you're working on and you can't let nobody sidetrack you. Because, watch this. Because he says in the 26th verse, and I close with this. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Therefore, I do not run uncertainly without a definite aim. Here we are fighting about what you do. I'm fighting the spirit. What you fighting for? I'm running for Jesus. I'm just, oh, I'm running for the Lord. Oh, I'm just running. I'm just What you working on? I don't know. I'm just, I'm just on fire for God. On fire for God for what? That's been the deception of the whole kingdom of God. Because those of us that don't have an aim. See, there is the spirit. This is what God spoke to me. The spirit of the miraculous is hovering in this building. Okay, I'm going to say that one more time. There are certain things that are planted in the spirit realm. But, but number one, we got to get beyond the cross, beyond God save me. And, 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 and number two, we got, we got to have the authority to reach up and aim for something. I, I don't hear nobody. I, I, 
I ain't nobody saying nothing. I aim for something. I mean, in other words, by the time this meeting is over with, there's something that I've got to pull down out of the spirit realm. Come on, somebody. No, 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 don't mess with me. I know, I know I've been on the altar now six hours, and I know, I know church been over two hours ago, but, but, but I, I, I got to stay here because, because I'm aiming for something, because there's something that the covenant maker has revealed to me that I can have. There's something he showed me that I can possess and call my own. There's something he showed me that I don't need a prayer partner. All I need is a purified life and I can pull it in. Do anybody want it now? No, no, no. I just, I'm going to ask that again. Do anybody want it now? Ain't you? Ain't you tired of waiting? Ain't you tired? No, no, no. Ain't, ain't you tired of people telling you what you just, just keep on praying, God? Because you know, God go after a while, after a while, He going he to answer you. After a while, He's going to. Lazarus, in that grave, when Jesus came, He didn't call them forth and then turn around and tell Mary, now stay on by the grave, because. One of these days he's going to come out. Because I done called him. So y'all just wait around here. He's going to come out. He's going to come out. Ten days passed by. He ain't came out yet. He's going to come. Y'all stay there. He, Jesus is going to preach another revival. Come out. Oh, don't go, no. He ain't out yet. He coming. Because I called him out. I, I called him out. I want you to hear what I'm saying. Jesus said, I, I called him out. He ain't, he ain't out yet. No, because, because I want you to hear this. Because this is the greatest revelation that's going to change your life. It's simple, but it's like this. Jesus went to the grave and called Lazarus out. There was a shaking and a quaking. And Lazarus came hopping through there. Instantly. With grave clothes on, bound up. Pastor said it this morning. That thing got me, Pastor. When you said that it, it, God spoke that thing in my spirit. He said, then he said, loose the man. All the grave clothes came off. Right then. Right then. Here we are, believing in a Jesus out there. When the same Jesus that stood at that grave called Lazarus forth and said, come now. is sitting in your spirit right now. And you calling stuff forward waiting till next week. I don't think y'all just heard what I said. I don't think you heard what I said. He didn't walk to the wedding. And, 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 and they said, we ain't got no more wine. And he just started speaking. The wedding would have been over if he had said, now two weeks from now, it's gonna, be, it's gonna turn around, just keep waiting. I'm not, I'm not hearing y'all talk back to me. He did not walk out there when they were hungry and take the two fish and five loaves of bread and said, wait 50 days and food gonna come. He stopped breaking off and it just kept, it just kept multiplying, it kept multiplying. Come on somebody. But see, somewhere along the line, you done got into this spirit of not knowing the power of his word. And if Christ is on the inside, if his word is on the inside, then you ought to be able to call something out right now. You ought to be able to speak something and it comes into it. Are you hearing God tonight? No, you don't hear what I'm saying to you. You can decree tonight that somebody in your family that's not saved and in 24 hours, they can be coming down that aisle giving their life to Christ. Somebody do something for me. And don't touch nobody dead. Don't touch nobody. Look, look at both neighbors on both sides of you. And look at the people behind you too. And, and if, they, if they still kind of looking a little plain, you know, a little sedated, don't even tell them that, but just say it down in your spirit. I ain't saying nothing to you. Not you. But, but, just, but just tell, tell somebody, this, this ain't my week. This is my hour. Right, no, no, no. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. I don't mean, I don't mean, I don't mean, I don't mean hour. Hour like, you know, we in an hour. Oh, this is an hour for us to love God. No. Right now on your watch. I'm talking about this time. Say, this is my hour, right? Now, see, you gotta, Lord have mercy, you gotta believe something because, see, this is my hour 
for what? That my mind is transformed and my heart has been made to believe God. This is my hour right now. Somebody just got that. Somebody. God doing it right now. Somebody. See, you can't, you can't say that without something coming alive in your spirit. You can't say that and mean it from your heart and something not activate on the inside. Come on. Come on. transformed come on somebody this is happening for real 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 come on you gotta say it tonight you don't know what God is doing in here you don't know what I see in the spirit realm I'm being changed I'm being transformed I'm being delivered I'm being delivered right now I'm being delivered right now I'm being delivered you don't know what I see, you're being delivered. I see deliverance happening. I see the victory coming. Come on, you can't stop. A few more seconds. Come on with everything that you got. Open up your mouth. Open up your mouth. Come on, go for it. Come on, go for it. God, I see God doing something. Hold on, Shabbabahaya. He come in the ocean of Shabbabahaya. Rock on the bottom of the Holy Asaya. He did not have a lot of the other than a higher. Come on, some of y'all gotta do it right now. Some of y'all may have to get out of your seat and get to the altar, but he's doing it now. Come on, a few more seconds. That's it. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. He said tonight, This is your hour. You better open up your mouth and cry out to him. You will never be the same after tonight. Come on, there's a weeping in this house. Come on, there's a wailing in this house. Oh yes, you don't know what I see. You don't know what I see in here tonight. That's it, my brother. He's doing something for you, my brother. He's doing something for you, my sister, right there. Come on, forget about your neighbor. Forget about your title. Open up your mouth. Begin to weep before God. Hey! 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 Oh! He come in the old shy. Come on, somebody. In the name of Jesus, I break every yoke tonight. I destroy every yoke tonight. I break the back of Satan. I cancel this contract. I bind the hand of the enemy. I command you to go. Go now. Open up your mouth. Open up your mouth. There's a breaking out tonight. You get ready to break out. You break it out the flesh. Come on, open 
up your mouth. With everything that you got, this is your hour. Right now, it's your hour. God said, You're going to another realm. You're going to another place in the spirit. Come on, cry out to him.
you can't quit. God, I'm getting ready to lay hands on some of y'all. You can't quit. Come on, he's about to move. Come on, you got to open up your mouth. This is a night. Your mouth got to come open. This is a night. You can't break you tonight.
dice Thank you. 